Hi, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass. I am a targeted individual. And what I'd like to talk to you about briefly is, uh, I don't even know what you call it, the righteous indignation, the anger, the pain, and the hurt, the frustration of, look what they've done to me. These bad people have come into my life and destroyed it, taken everything I own, ruined my relationships, fucked up my health, now I'm sick and dying and crazy and blah blah blah. I can't move, I can't walk, heart attacks, strokes, brain damage, you name it. This is some serious shit we're talking about here. People have lost their fortunes, their homes, their business, their sanity, you know. So, this is some real stuff. And in every case, we have victims, at least the ones that I'm dealing with, people who didn't deserve this. Not by any stretch of the imagination, not by any means. Not by any convoluted sense of anything, except for evil. I mean, that's the only way I can understand it. But they have a right to be hurt. You have a right to be angry. You have a right to be frustrated, sad, you know, the whole thing, man. You have a right, you know. And, uh... The problem comes when we, you know, what do we do with this anger, with this frustration, with this hurt, with this pain, with this suffering, with this righteous indignation? What do you do with it? Well, it follows a normal course, just like grieving. You get upset, you get angry, you tell everybody. If you don't tell everybody, it leaks out into everything you do. All of your relationships, you name it. Uh, excuse me. Yes, it's supposedly uh, any type of, of psychological uh, problems that you do not deal with, that you do not face, and accept will give root and rise to pathology of some type. Now, in the case of angry people, it could be uh, anger, you know, righteous indignation, anger all the time, grumpy, angry, angry about everything. Ah, you know those people always in a bad mood. Doesn't matter what you say or do. Hey, we've seen them. And then there's the people who just withdraw inward and close off, shut down and never try again, because why should they? You know, it's all been taken away once. It's going to happen again, surely. And for those of us who've had it happen over and over and over and over again, we know it's going to happen. We just keep pumping, keep trying. But uh, like I said, it's, it's a process. Now, it is very important that we get help. And by help, I mean somebody we can talk to, somebody that will listen to us, somebody that will validate us as human beings, somebody that will possibly even understand us, or even just say, they're there, I, you know, I'm sorry to see you suffer. Uh, compassion you know we need to express it and I found one of the best ways if you're not busy educating others about what's going on find other people who are like you uh, it's like another common thing people do is this wound mates thing you get hurt you find others that are hurt similar hurts and you share the hurt and this can do one of two things. This can help you heal. Or it can turn you into one of these people that all you do is focus on the hurt. So 
Oh, use it to heal. Um. Yeah, I know we're going on like instructables here. Like I have some fucking idea what I'm talking about. No, I just think about it a lot. And I watch myself and I push myself really hard to try to overcome those instilled feelings. Because these are programmed feelings. These are, are designed feelings. This is part of what they want you to go through. You know, on top of the drugging and the murderous Morgellons and the gang stalking and the disruption and destruction of everything you hold dear, you know, in your heart and your soul and your mind and your life. They want you to stay that way. They want you to go down with them. They want you to do the bad things that they're telling you to do in your head. And most of us aren't going to do that. Most of us know we're not crazy. Most of us are not going to make nice with the beast. Most of us, when we find out that there's some serious evil happening and no earthly thing seems to help, are going to turn to the Lord. Anyway, this healing thing, you know, is so hard to heal when you're under constant bombardment. But it is imperative that you find ways, you know, even just for a moment, to heal. And my prayers are with everyone who is suffering this, this hell on earth, this, you know, new world order gone awry, that we find some healing and reach out reach out to one another you know be careful because there's a lot of perps out there but you will find good